Hey guys, Chris here with another Angler Unit deep dive into all the colors of the Beast Coast Tungsten Lil Magnum Compact Flipping Jig. So, what's the story behind this deep dive and why I'm doing it? Um, let me just say really quickly, if I can make this quick, um, I have uh, several different jigs that I use in my arsenal, some super finesse jigs, and then some standard size jigs. <clears throat> I typically really gravitate towards compact pitching, flipping jigs or finesse jigs. That's where my confidence lies. That's my sweet spot. And um, for the last, I want to say four or five years, I've been using um, Dirty Jigs compact pitching jig and there were a lot of things i liked about that jig but a uh, friend of mine isabella knows my affinity for compact pitching jigs because um we fish uh, similar size of fish and similar waters and so we always are going back and forth with compact jigs and talking about them and so she just sent me this one Okay, and I believe this is the uh, Stealth Midnight Jig. So this is the one she sent me, and she sent me a bunch of Angler's Choice stuff, which I've never used before. So I thought, you know, I'll take this jig out and test it against my Dirty Jigs Compact Pitching Jig, and I uh, might as well put one of the Angler's Choice baits that she sent me uh, on it as a trailer. And I went out for a few days, and... Didn't catch very many bass, but I did catch one, and that's all I needed. The fishing wasn't good, and the places I was fishing weren't that good. What I did learn was that this is the jig I was looking for. So let's just real quick go over some of the merits of this jig and why I decided to go all in on it after only catching one fish on it. Um, and then we'll go over all the colors, because the reason that I do this for you guys is all right so when i commit to a new bait i buy if possible you know i'll buy all the colors and then i'll i need to see them up close and really you know kind of see how they look with trailers see how they look in the water and get a real good feel for which ones are going to work for my style of fishing and then i'll commit to like just four colors so I do these videos so that you can look at them up close with me and then you can decide for yourself which of these colors you want to spend your money on and you can save your money and buy four of them and skip the other eight. So right out of the gate, I'm a compact jig fan. I just think compact jigs are better. Um, I think I get more bites on them. I think I get more bites on them. Um, my part of the country, southeastern Pennsylvania, um, full size jigs, I've just never done as good on them. What I like about this bait, one thing is the tungsten. I like that they're all stamped, you know, I mean, these are all three eighths. I like that they stamp the, uh, weight on it. It's just good if you're a scatterbrain and that you throw a bunch of stuff in a box. A lot of times I like that they're tungsten. That's hugely important to me. I think we really need to shift away from lead at this point. I like the super tiny, tiny, tiny line tie on these. It's like a micro jig line tie. I like the super soft weed guard. It's just the right tensile strength. It's enough to keep the hook point if the jig's upside down and the weight of the jig in the water can't, if the, the hook point can't sink through the weed guard, that's a stiff of enough weed guard. Anything more than that is a waste and um, fish repellent. And I also like that it has this, you know, uh, shortened, chunky, nice little, I believe it's a 2X hook. It's not a 3X. There's really not any flex to speak of in the hook. So, you know, you can catch pigs on it. So everything about it is exactly what I'm looking for. And I think what, what really sold me on this over my current, jig or my former jig was the hook shank the uh the bait keeper on it and the tungsten so yeah so this one's going in the arsenal but 
which colors? I don't know. Let's take a look at them up close, see what they look like, see the merits, and then maybe we can all decide which ones we really need in our arsenal and which ones we don't. So the first one up is Neon Melon Special. So I'll tell you what I'm seeing right out of the gate with it. It looks like it is a um, watermelon smoke, um, like tiger craw pattern in the belly strands. So you can see, I don't, it is clearly, uh, you know, um, alternating between like a green pumpkin and a watermelon color um, tiger striping. Then there are some straight black strands in it. And then we have the, um, the clear flashaboo that has the micro red um, flake in it. And in the, I don't know if this is, we're gonna call it watermelon, it could be like a, faded green pumpkin but it looks like a uh, green and purple flake in the um, the watermelon strands and then up top here is what's really interesting about this color you have um, like a, a pro red so it is like a pro red you know that color shifts and it's a little bit of a tiger craw pattern in it and it it color shifts it's like a shimmering copper and it almost goes clear from certain angles and then it really shows up bright at other angles um black head black fiber weed guard not a fan of black heads and black fiber weed guards on any of my jigs i just think that they're a little unnatural looking but it's a really interesting color i mean you can really see the flash of boo that those real long buggy strands that stick out on it. Um, you know, this is the, the touches that I love uh, about uh, Beast Coast jigs in particular. So yeah, that's Neon Melon Special. It's a pretty cool color. All right, next up we have uh, Stealth Melon Juice. Um, so I would just call this a brown belly watermelon red flake top half of the skirt I don't know if we can see any of the red flake in there it's not a very pronounced red flake it is sort of hidden in there um, just a few little blips of it uh, Green pumpkin head, watermelon weed guard, that I love. To me, it just blends in a little better. I don't, like I said, I don't like the black weed guard. Um, you know, typically for me, I like the brown on top and the watermelon or the green pumpkin on the bottom. I like counter shaded baits and I like when the counter shading is done correctly with the dark on the top. And I know a lot of companies purposely flip the counter shading to make the uh, the jig more uh, visible, but it's just my two cents. So it's a nice solid, you know, that's a uh, what I would call a staple color. So a lot of you, you know, you might get two crazy colors in here. And then if you get two, you know, run of the mill standard colors, this, you know, for a lot of you, this might be one of them, okay? All right, so that was the um, Stealth Melon Juice. Next up, Stealth Jelly. Now, uh, one thing I should note about Beast Coast, when they say Stealth, they mean it's a matte finished head. Um, so anytime they say Stealth for any of their jigs, they're talking about the matte finished head. So this one has a really awesome looking, it's like a really high end looking, you know, copper brown head with a brown fiber weed guard. This is probably, for me, this is the standout color. This color is sick. 
So it's brown and purple, and it's not a dark purple. It's a really uh, soft, just a really, you know, good looking purple. But what's really awesome about it is that it color shifts. So it color shifts from purple to blue. So for me, this one will find its way into my permanent arsenal. I mean, this is just a really awesome, shimmery, bait fishy, stained water gem of a color. So um, big fan of stealth jelly with that color shift from purple to blue. Very iridescent, very awesome looking, very cool color. And next up we have Stealth Pumpkin. So what I'm going to guess is we've got a light green pumpkin or a watermelon on the top. Standard green pumpkin on the bottom and then the uh, kind of that chameleon tiger stripe or tiger craw. I don't know what everyone calls that. All the skirt makers call it something different, but it's that, you know, tiger craw skirting in the middle, solid watermelon on top, solid green pumpkin on the bottom. So a very simple, plain staple color, green pumpkin head, watermelon, weed guard, nice color that, you know, for me that it's tough. It's tough. When when companies make this many neat colors, it can be hard to, um, you know, start to think, oh, if I had to go with four, which four would I go with? So that's the, again, Stealth Pumpkin. Next up, we have, obviously, or not so obviously, Bruised. This is not a Stealth color, and you can tell because the head is shiny. Um, so... How's Beast Coast approaching their black and blue on this? So we've got straight black strands with blue flake in them. We have blue and black tiger craw strands where it is like a, you know, micro blue flake in it. It's a, you know, it's a blue strand with the, uh, the black banding, which is really awesome. And it's a bright blue and what I appreciate is how much glitter is in it. And then we have um, the Flashaboo clear strands that have micro blue flake in them. And you can see those, you know, sticking out here and there. So for me, there is a lot of blue Flashaboo in here. The black has a lot of blue flake. And then the blue strands have a lot of micro blue in them. So... Typically, I'm not a fan of black and blue jigs, and I think they're overrated. This one changes my mind about that, um, and it's because of the flash of boo in it. Um, this thing would really come to life in the water and uh, has a lot of really cool contrasting. So in darker waters, I think this one is going to be a very special, uh, not so average black and blue. So uh, Beast Coast is making it really tough on me with these colors. They are pretty damn cool. All right, next up, Chartreuse Pumpkin. So what am I seeing here? I'm seeing some strands of straight green pumpkin, and then I'm seeing a lot of the uh, chameleon tiger craw from light green pumpkin, the dark green pumpkin, and some bands of chartreuse thrown in there. And on top, do we have different strands? I don't know. No, I think it's even stranding throughout, and they're just all banded, and they go between black uh, green pumpkin, chartreuse, and uh, maybe straight pumpkin. Okay, and then, you know, again, this one has oodles of that flashaboo where it's clear flashaboo with 
uh, color shifting green and yellow micro flakes in it, which is really a dope touch. And I'm seeing even blue coming out in some of it. So, good Lord, Beast Coast. You know, I mean, so if we're going in, um, I don't know what the theory is, but if we're going in really clear water, there are the anglers that would say, you know, for me, it's the stealth pumpkin. It's this matte finish. I kind of think living things have more stuff lighting up and glistening on them. I think the matte finish on a lot of stuff is overrated. Um, now, chartreuse pumpkin does have the matte finish, green pumpkin head, and the watermelon weed guard. So, it's a nice little package there. So, hope that helps you guys. You know, again, if you're shopping, maybe this helps you get a close look and go, that's the one I need or that's the one I don't need. That's the idea behind it. Um, next up. Dirt bag. So, um, what do we have with dirt bag? We have a, a brown head, black weed guard, and we have brown on the back, brown silicone strands, black on the belly, and then we have um, the flashaboo that is black with champagne colored um, glitter in it. So the, the black flashaboo has champagne in it, which is, a, a, again, for something that's so bland as black and blue, when you put those little champagne flashaboo strands in it, I mean, it's just gonna bring something like this to life. Um, you know, black and brown, uh, I tend to like more than a straight black, like this one. Um, they're both super dark. They both show up in dark water. So why would I pick this over this? Purely because the top is brown. And so I get that two-tone contrast with that one. So I guess that's good. I can eliminate one color so far. Um, yeah, I just like two-tone baits. Just even if it, even if they're both super dark colors, that color shift to me is a lot more representative of living things. So that is dirt bag. Next up, we have toxic bug. So toxic bugs, what you think it would be? It's kind of like a June bug purple with a. Um, green pumpkin and purple tiger tiger craw stripe on the belly and then we have the flashaboo in it which is an emerald green so if you really think about it with the purple and the green pumpkin and purple um, skirt silicone skirt with the flashaboo having the um the emerald green in it really what you've created is a June bug jig. So, geez, another, another contender here. So I'm really impressed with toxic bug, um, black matte finish head, black weed guard. Eh, I would have liked to have seen you do a, a June bug head with the, uh, emerald flakes in it to, or or a green pumpkin head would have been nice I don't know the black not my favorite thing but again you know Beast Coast usually crushes everything that they do alright next up one of my favorite Beast Coast colorways Elite Craw so we have green pumpkin and um, a color shifting, like br blue craw color. So you got the um, watermelon, blue craw, um, 
banded skirt. So it's, you know, um, it goes from the blue craw to the green pumpkin back to the blue craw. A um, little bit of a color shift in that blue. And then flash a boo with a uh, green micro flake in it. So very lifelike and appealing. You know, this is a very productive color in most of the, uh, I don't know how it is on the West Coast, but in the Northeast of the United States, this is, I would say a top three in all soft baits and in jigs color, the, the blue craw, you know, I mean, you got green pumpkin and blue, uh, tiger banding in it, alternating, and it seems to be that way the whole way through it. I don't see any solid strands anywhere. There, I can't even see, I don't think there's even any straight green pumpkin strands in it. So yeah, nice looking jig. Um, I believe we're also looking at a black lacquered head on this doesn't look brown uh, and a brown weed garden so that's elite craw next up this is the one i got from isabella this is stealth midnight so this is a true matte black with almost a matte black skirt with just some micro red flake in it and a black weed guard um, there are people that live for this jig. Now, if I had cleaner waters, crystal clear waters, I'd feel very, uh, and I do, and black lures work really good in them, but I wouldn't use a jig this size where, um, for my bodies of water where I'm fishing, it's a little big. I'd have to lighten it up with a lighter trailer, um, you know, to have it be a lights out color for me. Um, and that's what I did with the one that I received from a friend. I did that blue in there just to give it that contrast. So I'm, I'm a black and blue fan in just certain circumstances, not all the time, but there are times where it works. But um, flat black for me is more of like a crystal clear color. And um, so, I, again, I would have to put a trailer that gave it a little contrast on that one. So, but the name is fitting. Stealth Midnight. Stealth because of the matte black head. So it's pretty rad. This one's a real... Another beautiful color from Beast Coast. This is Mud Craw. And it's just these little, there's something about Beast Coast colors that are just off from everyone else's. And I love that. So you've got this like rust head, a uh, brown weed guard, and then you've got um, green pumpkin, but it has uh, orange and gold flake in it, like a good craw orange and gold um, in the watermelon, not watermelon, yeah, water, I'm not going to debate this right now. The green pumpkin skirt, the watermelon skirt. I don't know. I would call it, let's call it green pumpkin with um, gold and like an orange copper flake in it. And then you have true pumpkin strands in here that are just pumpkin so you've got the green pumpkin the pumpkin and then you have the um this really awesome non-fluorescent translucent orange which it's not a common uh silicone uh skirt color so i just overall this one looks totally rad um there's only one time a year that I think this color where I live does really well. And it's not what you think. It's not the spring. It's actually, um, in the fall. So, um, that's a really nice color. Beast coast mud craw. 
there's such a nice hook on these too. I love how just short and stout it is with that badass bait keeper. I mean, this is, you could use this jig for, you know, so many things, you know, not just a compact uh, flipping jig, but, you know, just as a standard finesse jig. So that's rad. And then it looks like the last color up. We have Stealth Craw. So Stealth Craw is brown skirt with a black and I'm going to call it amber, black and amber tiger craw stripe um, skirt in there. This one has no flash of boo, but the, um, the black and amber skirt has like a copper flake in it. So there's just a little bit of flake in it. And actually it looks like the brown sections have some micro silver flake in them. So micro silver, micro micro, like subatomic micro silver flake in them. And, uh, you know, a few hits of that copper orange in the amber and black. Uh, it has a matte green pumpkin head and a watermelon weed guard, which I love. Um, so yeah, you can see the brown strands don't have any flaking in them. There's just straight up brown. That's a gorgeous color. Um, probably one I would rule out for my personal home waters. So usually when I do one of these at the end of it, I say to you, you know, it's clear to me that I would use these four and then the other ones I don't need. And then, you know, the idea is you guys get that idea too. And then I typically will take like six and, you know, give them away to friends so they can try the jig and they can, you know, decide what they're going to do. Um, I can't really say they're all really nice. I, I'd have, I'm going to have to live with these for a while and maybe pair them up with a few trailers and see, um, you know, which ones are staying in the stable. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope that helps you decide which of these jigs is the, you know, which of these colors of the Beast Coast Lil Magnum jig uh, work for you. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope this helped you guys and I want you guys to have a great day and take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.